Jed. <laughs> ah, this is hot. <laughs> no! I dropped my fork on the floor. Mm, three second rule. I heard somewhere that that three second rule is now turned into seven seconds. Our generation is so grubby. Speaking of our generation. Hello, welcome to my kitchen where I'm eating mac and cheese with Mary. Mary, come here. Would you like to be on YouTube? You're a cutie. Go on, fat one. <laughs> Me. Cheers. I want to quickly talk about the strike I went to. I was not aware that humanity could surprise me on two opposite ends of the spectrum all in one day. I was indeed mistaken. 40,000 people showed up to the It's Raining. Hang on. Oh, that's better. 40,000 people showed up to the strike in Wellington. People of all ages, of all backgrounds, came together to march for something incredible. It was an amazing thing to see and to be a part of and to also experience that momentum that is still continuing right now. Also, a couple of days after the strike, I learned that the power company that I work for is New Zealand's leading electricity company uh, to lower emissions of greenhouse gases. Go on, power company that I work for. Whoop, whoop. That's for you. Uh, anyway. Flip side of the spectrum, I was, I am astounded by the amount of people that are so blasé about the topic of climate change. A disgruntled family member of mine posted this picture online about a day after the strikes. And just, 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 mmm. No! Another family member, another acquaintance, a dickhead from college. And another, and another, and another. What is it about a 16 year old girl trying to save our planet that triggers you so much? What compels you to think that climate change just, just, it isn't that big of an issue? You know what you sound like? A soggy Watson. That's what you sound like. And let's say, hypothetically, we are all wrong. Climate change is a myth. The planet is the healthiest it has been in years. Oh my god, me, when I'm trying to deny my increase in unfitness levels. <laughs> if this all turned out to be misinformation, like, oh god, we've taken steps to make sure we live on a healthy and sustainable planet. How fucking awful. <laughs> uh, people infuriate me. <laughs> And these people that were shitting on like Greta and climate activists, kind of like the strike, they were people of all different ages, all different backgrounds, etc, etc. So I'm not shitting on baby boomers or anything like that. I'm shitting on crap, narrow-minded people. Oh god, and I just remembered something. I wasn't gonna share this, but I will. At the strike, there were these two old dudes. <laughs> Did not look happy. Arms folded in disapprovement. I moved a bit closer so I could hear exactly what they were talking about. And they said that today's generation is inconvenient and reckless. It turns out the boiling point for all of this, this fury that was being unleashed from within is because they couldn't cross the road and go to their favorite dairy. How inconvenient of our generation to be marching across the street, blocking this man's path to his favorite dairy. <laughs> I may or may not have filmed them. And I wasn't going to put it on the internet, but here they are. This is them. If either one of these two men are your granddad, or your dad, or uncle, or neighbour, sit them down, have a cup of tea, um, and tell them to calm the fuck down. <laughs> oh, Jesus. But anyway, enough of the negative Nancy talk. <laughs> My channel is a happy place on the internet, filled with rainbows and pugs and muffins and... Mac and cheese. Oh, this is some good mac and cheese too. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so good. <laughs> I'm a chef. <laughs> we out. Oh, God. <laughs>